September, meaning trust. He is 12 years old. Weighs around 2,000 kilograms. He's a good boy. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Oh. Can you see that, guys? A command given to Temba, Temba shake, then you see Temba shake one command. So what we're just trying to show you guys is that the relationship which they built, these guys, um, Yarazi, the relationship which they built with Temba now, a clear English command given, Temba shake, then you see Temba shake one command. But we are saying, guys, that is a natural behavior. If Temba get uh, some because they constantly do what we call dusting themselves, so taking a lot of sand, you see them throwing on them on their backs, if Temba want to get rid of the sand on his back, he will just simply shake like what he was doing to get rid of the dust. But now that was a command given. Temba shake, you could say Temba take shake, not command. But let's see if Temba has got something different. Temba, Temba, take seal. Temba block. There we go. We see the trunk of an elephant, guys. We say that is the hand. At the same time, we say that is the nose. So since that's the end, guys, we see it. Pellets are being thrown on the ground. You put food on the ground, what you're going to see elephant doing, you see it more like hoovering the pellets or hoovering the food from the ground, then at the same time blows into the mouth. Combat, combat, combat. But at the same time, if it gets a lot of dust accumulating the trunk, what does Timber do? You are going to see him blowing that dust away to get rid of the dust. But now that was a command given, Timber blow, but still Timber could blow on command. So we are saying, guys, it's a natural behavior, but Timber is doing the same thing on command. <coughs> no, turn down. All right, good morning, guys. You can just go and have a sit down there. Turn down. Right, uh, we we have seen Temba doing one or two things. So done with Temba for now. We are moving now to the elephant next to me here. This is a girl elephant which is telling a gentleman called Taurai. So Taurai is going to introduce this elephant to us. Good morning. 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 My name is Taurai. Yeah. And this is Kumba. Kumba meaning memory. She is 20 years old and weighing about 3,000 kilograms. Is a good girl. I can show you. Kumba Trumpet. Kumba Trumpet. Kumba Trumpet. Kumba Trumpet. Trumpet, my girl. Kumba Trumpet. Hard one. There we go. So we are saying, guys, trumpeting. It's a natural behavior, guys. We have had elephants trumpeting several times. It's a communicating behavior to elephants. But this will be triggered with different emotions. So we are saying, guys, you might pick elephants trumpeting to show happiness. You might see elephants trumpeting to show anger. So it's all depends now the situation which is on the ground. So we are seeing elephants get trumpeting to show happiness. Let's see, for example, guys. In a family of elephants, they get a new baby born. Do you not want to be surprised, guys, to see elephants from this celebrate the new baby born in Asia? Which is different now when elephants get angry. You see a head of elephants not in the wild. Then you, as a human being, you are trying to go very close to a wild head of elephants. They will be very, very close with you. This time, we are going to see the ears wide open. Then they will be right up. Elephant is eating us. They give you a trumpet, which is a clear signal to tell you that you are now crossing the boundary. Don't try to take chances. So you can see the elephant is there before. So trumpeting, it is a communicating behavior. Hey, hey. But this will be all right. emotions. Elephants have been discovered, guys, communicating through what refers to the talking. So you just want to see if these guys can have a number of numbers. Talk. 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 You can see these guys are rambling on command. So we're saying, guys, rambling is a communicating behavior to elephants. But this kind of communication, guys, enables elephants to communicate Just over take. long distances between one another. They've been recorded for communicating as far as between five kilometers. This is this kind of communication. But what happens, guys, when elephant rambles is that rambling, guys, goes down and down and down. They end up converting to another language. It's actually called Just sound communication. Or sound communication. So an elephant which is on the other end, which is about 10 kilometers, can pick the information through the vibration from the ground. Now they can manage to pick the information through their feet, not through their head, through their ears. But actually they pick the information through their own feet. 
So it's something which is also very, very important to the elephants. Right, there are some things, guys, which we do, for example, if an elephant gets an infection underneath the foot, you want to check the thorn. An elephant gets a thorn underneath the foot. What do we do, guys? We ask them to do foot up. Can you see that elephant, guys, up there? Can you see that elephant over there, guys? So it's pretty bloody good, isn't it? They lift their foot and just look where it's expected. So something very, very important to us. So these are some of the things, guys, which we wanted to show you elephants. So 